What's going on YouTube? Rob A here and today it is finally time to take a look at Mastermind Creations R02 Talon, part of the uh, reformatted line of course or also known as uh, part of Feral Rex, their version of Predaking. So this would be their dive bomb equivalent and oh man, <laughs> this has a uh, quite a history now um <clears throat> so this figure uh i pre-ordered it a year and a half ago um paid for it a year ago and it is finally uh in my hands today and i am so excited as a matter of fact i got home from work today i found the little slip from the post office saying that they attempted delivery and i was not home uh, and I, uh, <laughs> walked down my entire neighborhood. I went about three, uh, maybe four blocks until I saw the, uh, the, uh, postal delivery car and I, uh, tracked the, uh, <laughs> the poor mail lady down and, uh, and had her get me my talent out of the back of the truck. She was very, very nice. Uh, but anyway, that's quite enough of that. Here's Talon. Check it out. The box is awesome as all the, uh, mastermind boxes tend to be. Uh, mine looks like it got a little smooshed, and I'll, I'll get into that a little bit uh, more, but uh, you can see R02 Talon Mercenary Aerial Assaulter. A little nice little silver foil Feral Rex right there. Talon looking really cool. And on the back here, of course, you can see Feral Rex and where Talon fits in on the, uh, on the combined form. These wings, oh my goodness. Uh, you can see the different forms, the different, uh, you know, uh, bird mode and robot mode, of course, and just him being a general uh, hardcore awesome face. Uh, so yeah, there he is, another, uh, another image of Talon. So let's just check this out. Uh, all the Feral Rex members have this nice little a uh, nice magnetic box, and you can see right in here some really cool line art of uh, of Talon, as well as the figure itself. Now, I don't think he's supposed to be quite mooshed like this inside the package, uh, because the tray that he's in seems to be kind of uh, formed for him to be kind of just back in there flat, and the... Uh, you can see there's the plastic. It's, got, it's all dinged up, so I I'm thinking this probably got jacked up a bit either in transit or, or somehow um but either way this dude is huge these wings are so so big in person it's awesome i can't wait can't wait to get this guy out of the box so i'm gonna do just that i'm gonna go have a sandwich get this guy out of the package and i will see you guys back here as soon as sandwichly possible all right, guys, so here is Talon in his predatory bird mode. You can call it an eagle. Uh, you can call it a you know, vulture if you want to. It's really whatever uh, whatever makes you happy. And, uh, man, the, this, this, this wingspan is impressive, guys. Um, it, it's hard to, to show you really on camera, but uh, you can basically see one wing is, like, his, his feathers are the size of my fingers. These are enormous, uh, like absolutely enormous. You can see I'm having a hard time kind of keeping them all in frame. Uh, really, really impressive. Um, and the bird mode, it's it's neat. I mean, obviously, bird modes are, are not the easiest thing to, uh, to do um, with the Transformer. Uh, but he pulls it off. I mean, you know, it's convincing enough. Uh, and just to, as a quick comparison, here he is. And here is a uh, Generation 1 dive bomb, just to kind of show off what you're dealing with. And you can kind of get a look at that wingspan as well. Very nice, very big, very impressive. Um, but yeah, I mean, he certainly gets the, uh, the original character across. You can see the similarities in the, um, the backpack as well. And the, uh, the tail. So, yeah, I think he does a pretty good job. Uh, now, in this mode, he does have some articulation going on here. He's got a uh, bird head on, on a ball joint here, and then, or his bird neck is on a ball joint, and then the head itself is also, appears to be on a ball joint in there. It can kind of wiggle around, and you can open the mouth. And you can look down, you can look up. 
So you've got some good uh, some good options there. Uh, this whole panel also kind of comes down, so you can get some more uh, more range out of that if you don't mind kind of the gap uh, in back there. He of course has the swiveling waist. Um, he's got the uh, a, a, an ab crunch going on there, so you can get some good swooping and grasping. Sorry about that noise, guys. Some swooping and grasping. His talons are articulated also, uh, so he can grab onto stuff like that, like that. You see, you see. And then his wings themselves, they go up. They can go down. Uh, the feathers can collapse like so. I can go down like that. They can go in. Uh, they can go in a full, you know, straight down, but the, uh, the arm is in the way. But they can go back like so. So a lot of nice posability. You get some, uh, you can flap the tail or wiggle it around if you want to to kind of get, you know, steering for his flight. Uh, now, let's pop the wings off for a moment here. There we go. Here is the wing pack. Very, very cool. And uh, one thing you can do with this uh, is you can take your buddy Leo Ducks over here. And uh, you can see he's got some a hole and some peg holes there. You can pop this uh, backpack on him and make a crazy winged Leo Ducks super flying robot lion man. Ha ha ha. And that's probably about the coolest thing <laughs> I've seen all day for sure. Um, yeah, you can position all the, uh, the feathers, of course. So really really cool um but yeah there's that let's take these back man these are so humongous Oy. uh so we'll put leo right over here because we'll probably use him again in a bit um i have seen online on the the tfw 2005 boards uh somebody did and i don't remember the name i'm sorry uh but they took the 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 arms in bird mode and they just kind of flipped them like this and then turn the turn the guns around so like so and like that and then they put the wings on like so and I think that actually looks pretty decent I mean it you know it's it's coming out past the uh, past the neckline a bit but uh, it really it really opens up the chest area and kind of gives it more of a, an aerodynamic look uh, as well. So and I like the guns up a little bit higher here also. So that's pretty cool. Uh, one other thing you can do with the wings here. Uh, let me just grab grab this out. You've got the parts here for uh, Feral Rex's sword, and you can take the uh, these bits that were on uh, Leo Ducks's uh, uh, lion chest that don't really have any place to go, um, and you can stick them up here on the wings, and they can be you know they can be whatever you want them to be basically bombs or or uh, turbines or, or whatever um, so you can not have that going to kind of storage for those and get them out of the way and uh, so that works out pretty well so all right really really cool really nice so what we're gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna show you guys real quick what else you get in the box you also get the uh, necessary little card with some very nice uh, Unicron artwork on there. Very, very cool. It's got all the uh, different stats on the back. Uh, you get Talon's sniper rifle, two swords, the instruction slash comic book, of course. 
And you also get a uh, two sets of, um, or actually, well, I mean, technically one set for two arms. Um, but it's just the one arm that's affected on, on the Bovis and Fortis, so you get one for each of them. Uh, so you ha if you haven't switched the pin out already, I do have a video up about that, um, so you can check that out. But if you haven't done that already, and you've got some gear grinding going on, you can replace them with these bits uh, as well. And I may actually just go ahead and replace Bovis's arms with these, because his arms are just getting a little... Um, just a little worn, actually, just because I've uh, used him so many times before fixing him. He does have a little bit of wear on those, but so I, I may switch those out. But yeah, awesome stuff. So you get those as well. And that is all the accessories. I'm going to uh, transform this guy now. And that should be pretty cool. So I'll see you guys. In all right, so transformation for this guy is super simple, uh, as you would expect. And the instructions say to take the uh, wings off. We're, we're not going to do that. You don't need to take the wings off. That's silliness. Um, but basically, what you want to do is, from your starting position here, the regular thing, what you want to do is pull the arms out like so. They just tab in up here for bird mode. Flip his hands out. Come on, hands. There we go. Uh, the legs. You want to just rotate around at the waist here. Open up these panels. Flip his legs down. Flip his bird feet down. And then his uh, first and third claw go up. And the middle, uh, the, the, the back claw goes down. Like so. There we are. There we are. And you just close up the back of the legs. Bring down the feet. Which is a lot easier to do on this guy than it is on Bovis and Fortis because you don't have to get like around any other parts so much. You just kind of flip it right on uh, over. Just like so. Uh, bring the side ammo pouches or whatever you want them to be onto the sides of his legs here and they do just kind of hover and if you don't like them and you don't mind his legs being thinner you can just leave them at the back and they don't really uh, they don't really bother anything back there so yeah and then last but not least you basically want to just uh, go ahead and flip the robot face down just reach up and uh, flip it right down just like so. And then flip the bird head down over top of it. And the bird head does, in fact, it's hard to, it's kind of hard to make out, but you can kind of collapse it in like that. So that's kind of their alternate uh, head mode. So you can have him with the bird head sticking up, and it still doesn't really, it doesn't stick up too high and make him look silly. Um, but, uh, you can also fold it forward. I like it folded forward uh, better myself. And then there you have Talon in robot mode. And let me just kind of get this guy situated. There we go. And let me uh, transform our generation one friend here really quickly. <laughs> derp, 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 derp. Fists, yeah! How exciting. Man, I'm doing so much transforming on camera, it's crazy. Oops, you want that to be in. Then up. Do, 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 do. There we go. So here is Talon being awesome. And here is Dive Bomb being a weird Generation 1 Transformer. And of course you can do the, you know, dual transformation here also. Uh, this guy, you just put his, put his bird mouth down and that kind of is the thing there, I guess. Uh, so yeah, really 
really cool. And uh, we'll just get this guy out of the way. Get out of the way. I told you. I told you. Oh, don't crush my Legos. Oh, he crushed my Legos. All right. Anyhow, <laughs> so he comes with this neato, um, pretty cool looking sniper rifle. It's very thin. It's it's more like, uh, well, the, the comic kind of makes it out to be more of like a laser rifle. And you can put back the, uh, I guess, the stock sort of thing or leave it up for a kind of a scope. I think I like it better, the scoped uh, scope version. Uh, and you can, of course, put that in his hands. And you can, you know, get cool uh, firing positions and things like that. Really, really nice. Uh, or if you want to kind of get it out of the way, you can just stick it uh, in his backpack. However, you know, however you see fit. Stick it down here like that, just to get it out of the way, and then it's out of the way. And he also comes with these two swords, which are much easier this time around to get into the hands. You just kind of pop them in, and whoop, just got to make make way for the fingers there. Yep, pop them in, pop it in, just like so. And he's got the uh, swords going on as well. Uh, just give you guys a close-up of the face. Here it is, and it's a little hard to see, uh, but his eyes are the bright metallic, and they do uh, they do shine apart from the face itself, and they, they definitely stick out. They look good. Uh, I think they look, I think his face looks really, really cool. Um, and of course, you can put his head down like that, and he can be brooding and dark or you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, the only the one thing I don't like is I really wish these vents were painted black or gray or, or some color other than just the yellow that they left on there. And I know, like, on the, the original, it's, like, well, in this case, it's gold, but it's yellow. Uh, but I do wish that they had filled that in with something. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, also, these feet are light gray, and I, I guess they were intended to be a darker gray or black, but... Uh, they didn't quite get that far, I guess, the factory or whatever. But they honestly, they don't look bad at all. The only kind of annoying thing is that they're the, like the only instance of this color on the figure. So you do get drawn to them for that reason. Uh, but otherwise, they really do just blend in with the rest of the, of the figure. Uh, for articulation, you've seen the wings. He's still got all the wing articulation. That's amazing. Uh, his head is on a ball joint, of course. Um, He's got ratchety shoulders in and out going on there. He's got double jointed elbows. He's got wrist swivels. They can go in and out. Uh, he's got the ab crunch. He's got a double uh, double swivel waist. <laughs> so you can get all kinds of swiveling going on with the waist there. Um, he's got ratchet hips, ratchet outward hips. Uh, thigh swivel, knees, and his feet are on the ball joint stock, and of course bend at the toe, so you can get all kinds of motion out of that. Really, really nicely done all the way around. Uh, now, uh, I guess just to show him off in arm mode here, just so you guys can see what's going on, because I guess I've kind of shown all there is to show for arm mode you do want to remove the wings and they do stick on there quite quite well quite thoroughly so for the arm mode you want to go ahead flip his robot head up again pull his bird head up and out so you can get kind of that that thing going on uh, you just want to fold up his arms like you did for for uh, the bird mode. Basically, we're, we're transforming him out back. <laughs> transforming him back. There we go. Get that locked in. Get that locked in. Like so. You can stick the... You can kind of point the guns anywhere you like. And you can take them off. And you can even like plug them onto the wings if you'd like 
they look pretty cool I think up there so you can do that or you can leave them sticking out on the uh, sticking up or sticking out or, or however you like um, you want to swing this around to the back here and then you want to swing this up like so and then uh, this I guess kind of we'll, we'll take it as it goes but uh, you want to fold the feet up like so fold the feet up basically put them back into bird mode Pull this out mm -hmm. like that and of course we need come here buddy we need a volunteer <laughs> by volunteer I mean we need a hand I all so here's a hand so you've got this going on I want to stick your little fist in there And just close that up and uh, there you go you've got him in arm mode rather and uh, the cool thing is he does get a decent elbow because of this uh, this uh, ab crunch here you do get the elbow and the legs so he can get it's not quite a 90 degree bend but it's it's very nearly um, and you can of course get a little bit of elbow bend out of that it's a little more uh, constricted than I would have liked honestly but uh, it does bend a fair bit especially if you use the legs to your advantage as well um, these do fold back if you don't want them bothering the uh, the hand so you can get those traditionally this is meant to go on the inside of the uh, of the arm as Talon is usually the uh, the left arm of Predaking and or Feral Rex. Uh, but I'll probably have this guy on the other side over here now, yeah, like so. And then just swivel this to the outside so we can have some sweet claws on the outsides of his arm. So, very, very cool. I'm super excited to have this guy nearly finished. So yeah, really, really cool, really awesome figure. Uh, I'm super happy to have him finally in hand. Uh, and I feel he's worth the wait, uh, which is which is really nice. It's nice to be able to say, I mean, there's a few nitpicks here and there, obviously, there always will be, um, but really nice, solid figure. I'm super excited to have Feral Rex that much closer to being completed. Um, so yeah, overall, super happy. So. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, that's going to do it for this review. I want to uh, tell you to go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.